What's going on traders? I want you to take a step back and analyze the structure you're looking at. You guys can see that I have plotted a bunch of key levels. I have a bunch of trend lines on the chart. And this is all that we need as traders because everything in price action, everything on the chart happens for a reason. Market geometry is a real thing. And if you want to find a high probability setup, you can do it just by using the price action tools you have in your disposal without any complicated indicators. Now, even though I have the 21 moving average on the chart, this serves basically only as a supportive indicator and it's one of the key entry points. And today's structure was a strong bearish downtrend. We have a downtrend like this. We only want to think always in short. And the question is, after this downtrend is over, when we should be looking for buying opportunities and when it is safe for us to go long well the number one thing we have to understand if the downtrend is strong and even though we have a break and a new extreme that doesn't mean that we're going to start going long you want to go long you want to start buying the market after a huge sell-off only when you get a strong trend proven in the opposite direction unless there's a strong proven trend in the opposite direction unless there's a strong uptrend you don't want to keep buying you still want to be thinking there's a potential chance that the downtrend may resume and look what happened the downtrend eventually resume at the end of the day but let's take a look at the structure and the beginning today because today we started with an uptrend you guys can see i have these shortened trend lines in play and i do this for a reason because according to trend line rules after price will break the trend line traders will attempt to create a new extreme and the biggest pattern at the beginning was this bullish uptrend so when we're looking at this we are thinking about only buying opportunities and you have a break and you have a first leg to a new extreme you have a little pullback and you have a second leg to a new extreme to like a pullback to attempt to create a new extreme and you guys take a look i have a multiple tops and here is a triple top pattern strong resistance a lot of times this is close enough you don't have to create a new high per se sometimes you just get an attempt and you have to be satisfied with it you cannot keep looking for going long after market proved you that we pushed strongly below EMA and we are now working below EMA. This is a good indication that this is truly an attempt and the buyers are failing. Once we keep pushing lower and once we keep pushing lower and there was actually a quite decent entry because once we push strongly below EMA and price is confirming that the sellers are gaining control, uh, there is the new extreme and there's the first entry short, little pullback higher, one tick higher, momentum bar second entry short of two key entry points but this bar close this is fairly big bar and you're going short directly at the low of the move i still think this is a little bit aggressive nevertheless this is how you look for the patterns you don't care about all the entries that are working all the bunch of first entries at the very low of the move you want to see a tool like a pullback because that is the high probability pattern so as the market keeps pushing lower and we keep pushing and rallying lower you would start only with this shortened trend line all right but once you have a break and a new extreme you expect for price to push above ema it fails and you keep making another new extreme another new extreme another new extreme and this is the indication that there is a most likely a larger pattern in play so the first trend line that i found today was this trend line right here you can find it of these first two swings you guys can see how nicely it fits and it fits nicely off the bottom EMA is pointing down, you're making a bunch of lower highs, lower lows, so the downtrend is full effect and you're thinking always in short. You're not thinking about buying, picking a top, picking a bottom, and you're not interested about selling at the low of the day, bunch of first entries. So your job as a trader is just to wait patiently and follow the rules for the high probability setup. You cannot get forced into taking bad, aggressive trades. So you guys can see we have this channel right now that got confirmed right here and you have a new low you have a first entry short second entry short right here this is the two leg up pullback this is the second entry at the very important area on the chart at two key entry points exponential moving average is holding price and you see a bunch of weak rejections and ema is not letting price close above and trend line is in the way as well this is where all the magic happens and this is where you want to sell you don't want to sell at the lows you want to sell high because the deeper the correction, the safer the entry is. It is counterintuitive, but that's how you have to approach the market. Also, why is this entry safe? Because you have a shortened break of this shortened uptrend 
and you have a break and attempt to create a new extreme and you actually create a new extreme by multiple ticks. So after a new extreme is formed, you know that the buyers are no longer in, in control and the bigger pattern is ready to take precedence. This trade happened so quickly, you guys can see I didn't get filled because there is a gap. The, the price didn't even tick lower, tick higher. I missed this trade, unfortunately, but the downtrend is still in play. The uptrend is working, but you have a first break of this overall downtrend. So what you are expecting, according to rules, expecting for price to create a new extreme. You're always in short. You have a new low, you have first entry short. Let me make it a little bit bigger. You have a first entry short, little pullback higher. You don't get second entry short below this bar. You get second entry short trigger below this bar. But by this time you get triggered here, notice there are multiple reasons why you want to be careful about this trade. Number one, you have one, two, three, four, five bars going sideways. They're stacked and overlapping. Take a look how EMA is flat and is exactly in the middle of those bars. This is a congestion and you don't want to trade this congestion. Also, you have the shortened trend line in play which means here you let it play out with the break and new extreme, here you you let it play out with the break and move to a new extreme and the repeat pattern, price action works like a clockwork, you ticked everybody um, long and it's in the reverse. I have a mark here, double trap. Why this is double trap? Because this entry right here is first entry short, second entry short failure. So it trapped everybody going short too early in a messy price action. So they trapped on a second entry short and buyers treated it as a failed second entry short and they expected a reversal pattern but this cannot be a reversal pattern because the downtrend is still in play it's too early and it's too sideways so this trapped both early shorts and early longs this is why this is such a powerful entry however unfortunately we cannot as traders force ourselves to take this entry because this is a multiple bars going sideways congestion just be patient and sit on your hands all right price push lower and gave you a lower high opportunity. This is a confirmation of this sort of like a second entry short, it, although technically the second entry short happened right here, but this is, there was the double fake out trap, it pushed lower, but this is the confirmation that we are still working on our way to create a new extreme. And it's a small little bar EMA is holding and you haven't moved too far. You're still inside of this swing. So you have room to this previous low. So this is the safe high probability setup and you'll just let the market go and let the market go if you didn't get filled here i didn't get filled here as well i was too slow and then you have a new high you have a first entry long second entry long but why am i counting second entry long when we are in a downtrend i was just recently counting second entry shorts second entry short with the downtrend is a high probability setup failed second entry long in a downtrend is a high probability setup as well because traders are going to be trapped going long picking a bottom on a second entry so forget about second entry longs in downtrends only look for the second entry longs about when you're anticipating a trap however you just now formed a new extreme low so according to temporary price action you have a break at a new extreme so you're not going to short directly into the low of the day okay and price keeps pushing lower price keeps pushing lower and you keep pushing lower quite substantially so as we kept pushing lower like this uh, as we kept pushing lower like this this is where i found the pattern which is whoops which is a spike and a channel pattern you guys can see how nicely it fits off the lows and I, how nicely it fits of these first three highs and you have a spike and the channel you have three pushes down one two three so no surprise the price action is consolidated and it led to a break but right now you're still thinking about selling and take a look what you have here you're not interested about selling at these lows you draw the short and correction you draw the uptrend like this you have a break and you push lower all right so you cannot sell this this is just a first entry short first attempt to sell trend line is holding correct but you need to wait for these setups, for these high probability setups, or you need to wait for lower high, lower high. You need to wait for second entries or lower high. And this is where lower high happened. You guys can see price pushed below EMA, confirming the bearish structure, the bearish momentum. One tick higher, instant reversal down. This would be a great entry. I'm going to mark it um, at the signal bar, but a little bit better. I was really attempt, expecting to enter here, but this is a bearish stim excuse me, it's the bullish team at the bottom, hold on, 25, 50, 25, what? 
This is one point. Well, this is one point of a bullish, uh, of a bullish tail. So if this signal, if the tail wasn't there and it was a nice uh, full-on bearish bar, this would have been much better. But with the bullish tail, it gets bigger, a little bit unsure. It worked eventually, but it, I think it was it was a little bit riskier. But you guys can see why are you looking at the same patterns? You're only looking at the high probability setups at these key entry points, or you wait for confirmation of the high probability setup, which is the lower high. All right. Once again, price gave you new high, first entry long, second entry long, but you're going long, short at the very low of the move. It is a full-on doji, and this is where you're taking a risk. Um, definitely now you're going sideways, so you don't want to take any entry. You have a fill breakout to the downside, but you're not looking for reasons to buy. You're always thinking, always in short, when you see a structure like this. Take a look. Every single attempt to close above EMA was instantly rejected, and we pushed below. Okay, and plus this spike and a channel is fitting nicely. And take a look what you have here. You have a new low. This this low is lower than this and lower than this. So once you're looking for the count of the second entries, you're starting to come from this low because this is the lowest low. So we have a first attempt to sell, push higher, second attempt to sell. Why I'm not marking this trade? Same thing. I'm not marking this trade or this trade. Shortened trend line is still in play. So number one, number two, price is starting to work sideways for quite some time. You guys can see we are starting to work sideways uh, for a bit now. One low, another low, another low. So you guys can see the trend is starting to lose steam and we're starting to waver a little bit, right? So you need to wait for break attempt, at least attempt to create new extreme. Why attempt? Because this key entry point, this trend line will not let price most likely close above. And here you have a lower high situation. I'm going to show you guys. This is the lower high because it's lower than this. I didn't mark, even though this setup worked, I didn't mark it because it closed above the EMA. Had it closed below, uh, I was ready to go short here, but unfortunately this closed above. The risk is so small that you still may want to pull the trigger, but nah, look at the EMA is getting flat. Um, we are starting to go sideways. And with that being said, the trend is starting to lose steam. I think you need to be a little bit careful here. Nevertheless, if you pull the trigger here, you're following the rules because trading is about probability. We are like casinos. We have odds on our side. And the only way casino is making money is they let players play a long time. If players come into casino and they play an hour and they lock out and they make a bunch of money and leave, the casino is losing money. What casino is trying to do is trying to keep you there as long as they can because they know if you're going to play long enough eventually you will lose all your money that's the same thing with trading you you cannot just pick and choose bunch of trades you need to keep following the rules taking all the setups you think i have probability and at the end of the day with all those setups taken you will end up profitable right and you don't have to take it in one during in one day because you don't want to force trades two or three trades per day four trades is it's completely satisfying and it's fine, but you need to keep tra keep taking those trades in the next days and at the end of the month, you will see that the, you're doing great, All right? So you have a break, you created a new extreme for the spike and a channel, and after a break, you expect for price to retest the low, the extreme for the spike and a channel pattern. So I have a new extreme form, but I, I think it's still too early to sell here because price is still working higher and you never know how many pushes higher you're going to make. I take a look, the same thing, if you short right here, you could have shorted right here, of course, uh, you can treat it as a little bit, as a little bit of failed breakout. So you, you probably know what's going to happen here. You're expecting pullback to the EMA, you're expecting new low, but it is much safer to wait for high probability setup for trap and you get a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Overall structure still bearish and like I mentioned in the early part of the video, this is not a proven uptrend yet. If anything, uptrend played out with the break, new extreme. So this second entry long right here is a not high probability setup. That's not a proven trend. So this is going to result into trapping a lot of buyers. So as it as it reversed higher and it's not reversed down on a one single bar, you know that everybody who went long here on a second entry long is trapped. And this is why this is such a powerful entry because you're entering on a high probability setup below EMA, beautiful bearish signal bar, and you're expecting for price to create a new extreme. So everything in lines, in lines, and this was a great entry. This was my first trade for the day. 
and I milked the runner as much as I could. I could have treadle stuff from here to here, which would be even better. But as you guys can see, had I kept my <laughs> original stop, I would have milked it slightly uh, lower, but uh, it was still a gigantic runner. So never give up on those runners. Uh, this this trade right here was a thousand dollar trade with the runner, by the way. So this is why holding these runners is absolutely important. And price created a new extreme, what it seems like. And I really thought it's time for correction at this point on. So once again, I'm going to draw the shortened trend line, just like I'm doing all the way here, because it can really keep you on the right side of the market. You have a break, attempt to create new extreme and a lower high quite tempting but bar is big and you just had a new extreme you just had a new low so you need to be a little bit pa uh, patient uh, give the market time to correct so market is correcting i think it's still too early to pick any bottom here because if you take a look at the entire structure uh, you're pushing lower for the entirety of the day and you have a repeat pattern of to what looks right here you have this trading range double top and fell breakout trading range a double top and a little fell breakout you have a new high First entry long, lower high, and a second entry long failure. This would have been a great entry had the signal bar, either this or this, was completely different. But this is horrible bullish. This is completely bullish pin bar, unenterable. This is too big that you cannot enter this anyway. Yeah, almost five point if you had your stop has to go about here. So unfortunately, this is unenterable. This lower high is not great as well because the... Um, uh, because you have a stim at the bottom it's but once again you you, you kind of don't want to cherry pick so i marked it but at the time i didn't really like it you close below ema uh, this would have been much safer entry but unfortunately no uh, signal bar and you guys can see that we still keep pushing lower this repeat pattern worked and there is no proven uptrend yet the uptrend played out with this break and a new extreme so it was a one leg second leg one leg second leg and price kept pushing lower and here I was really surprised we keep pushing lower because you already have a new low and another new low and price kept pushing below EMA. So you cannot argue with the market. And this point, it is confusing because it is too early to pick any bottom and it is too late to sell at the very low of the move. Plus, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. If, if you drag the spike and the channel and you put it right here, you guys can see it can give me what looks like a two-tier channel and you guys can see how nicely price keeps fitting right here so this is sometimes how you can keep the spike and a channel and i marked the second entry short because the overall trend is down and you have a two legs up ema holds price trend line holds price so you have two key entry points you're not thinking about buying uptrend played out with the break of a trend line new extreme which means buyers are now no longer in control but you're going short take a look where you're going short directly into this wedge at the almost very low of the move after all this happened but the key entry points are holding and it is a second entry so you're taking a chance here once again it's about probability you have an edge so if you want to take an entry 100 percent, i agree i just think it's a little bit aggressive and if you get a break from the wedge in the direction of a trend you should be expecting two legs uh at least uh, a continuation which you kind of had first leg a little pullback second leg down and from that point on market finally consolidated but once again before you start buying you want to see a proven trend in other direction so you're going to draw the shortened trend line first you have a break new extreme you actually have a new low and first entry short second entry short failure which was really tempting to go long here but given the structure of the market for the day and take a look what are you trying to reverse you're trying to reverse this this tiny setup is trying to reverse this entire downtrend so it's most likely not going to happen take a look everybody who was buying right here just um they got in big and this is what it looks like this is a failed second entry long and they reversed them uh, hugely uh, if that's even a word so we have a break new extreme form for the uptrend so that means that the buyers are no longer in control you're doing the same thing as you're doing every single time here you're just drawing the shortened trend lines and you wait for the shortened trend line to play out it played out you have a lower high which is a confirmation uh, that this uptrend played out but it's above the ema had it closed below this would have been better and at this point on you're expecting first entry long second entry long failure 
you never had it you never was given the opportunity all the way down here you had the felt second entry long which you cannot far away from ema directly into the bottom you cannot enter this light and you have a new low of the bigger two tier spike and a channel and you have actually like a triple bottom here so you're expecting now to have some sort of reversal pattern felt second entry short but you don't get it you did a move higher ema holds prices you have a higher low but the bar is too big you have a reversal pattern but you're so far from ema you already moved too high up so i think you want to be patient here you have a break two legs to a new extreme so you know what two legs to a new extreme are indicating break new high buyers are no longer in control and this is not a proven trend so you can still expect a little sellers activity you have a strong push below ema indicating bearish momentum you have a first entry short pullback second entry short and you have a new high first entry long pullback second entry long failure when i was watching this this looked too wedgy for me um this is a little bit, little bit wedgy but you know everything according to price action falls in line you have an additional fake out trap right here but by this time you're going so sideways and take a look what you have you have a break of this downtrend new extreme formed so you know it's time for correction you have a move higher break you have a new low first entry short little pullback higher above ema second entry short failure and now i'm going to consider this as a decent entry because take a look how we are starting to generate a little bit of a bullish momentum this is no longer a bearish downtrend we're starting to make a few more pushes higher and by this time this downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme and you pushed above ema which confirms that this downtrend truly played out and this is a decent entry when i was watching this live i was looking at it as a two legs to a new extreme uh you guys can see this is a trading range structure ema is flat bars are pointing up and down up and down through the ema and you have a failed breakout above this double top right here you have a room to the ema and this is a beautiful bearish signal bar and, and it created a pullback and when i was watching this this is where i, I took my trade uh, i was um, a donut when i took this trade i was really not su supposed to because i have a rule i stopped trading later the day and this was yeah almost 9 p.m nine o'clock so I forced the trade here and I paid for it because I was looking at this as a new high, first entry long, second entry long, failure. I was basically looking for this. I thought <clears throat> I thought that you have a fell breakout, first entry long, second entry long, but you close above the EMA. So I knew this was risky. But what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to be patient, wait for truly the uptrend play out with the with the fell breakout and then take the new high, first entry long, second entry long, failure. Uh, you guys can see what it did but uh, then it's already too late at the end of the day uh, let me see you have a fail breakout uh, which you could you could fade again and then you have this downtrend working lower you have a break new extreme formed uh, so I, I still don't think you want to go long here because you're really expecting for this breakout to fail you're really just looking for reasons to sell and then by this time i'm not already trading all right so hopefully it makes sense when you start looking for buying opportunities in a downtrend you want to see a proven trend in the opposite direction just because you have a break in new extreme doesn't matter that the downtrend is over you can keep pushing and making new extremes new new extremes the downtrend is strong that will happen if you struggle to find a bigger pattern only thing you're focusing on is the ema but today finding the pattern was not that hard all right so i'm gonna wrap it up hopefully you guys had a great day i'm gonna see you guys in the next one so take care everybody